anime animation. As you can see, I am finally, finally getting around to doing a video on anime. In case you haven't figured it out yet, my name O Tacos or Otakus is about anime. I originally meant for this channel to be a channel entirely dedicated to talking about anime. The problem is there's a bunch of them. And not only that, but if I would actually put like all the images, half the time people get hit for that. And then they, they lose their channels and it's just uh, a huge headache. Instead of just talking about anime, I thought about it that I really wanted to just help people learn English and also at the same time just talk about my common interest. So this is one of the first practices for expressing English that's going to be just about me talking about what I like. And hopefully you will find it entertaining and also learn something from it and learn how to use the language. Basically. I want this to be more or less a conversation channel, an English conversation channel that talks about themes and helps you to discuss and understand grammatical points in English. Anyway, today's theme is anime, so hopefully it's fun and we'll get started. I love watching anime. You could put I love watching blank whatever. It's easy. Or I love playing basketball. I love playing tennis. You could change it all sorts of ways. I enjoy watching anime. I enjoy playing tennis. I enjoy playing soccer. I don't enjoy playing tennis. Just saying. I like streaming anime. I like streaming anime. And the reason I did that, I like, I enjoy, excuse me, I love, I enjoy, I like watching, watching, and streaming. So see how all three sentences, I love watching anime, I enjoy watching anime, I like streaming anime, or all basically the same sentence, it's just different ways of saying them. Japanese anime produces a wider variety of content for various demographics. American companies create the vast majority of their animation for kids and families only. Western adults still stigmatize animation as being solely for kids, despite many successful shows like Family Guy, South Park, and Rick and Morty, which were clearly created for adult audiences. And I want to add one on here. I'm not going to underline it, but in case you haven't seen it, the Boondocks. I was just talking about that and I can't believe I forgot it. And I do should underline it because it is a proper title. And if I can find underline in there. Anyway, it's supposed to be underlined. So all titles of show should be underlined. But Family Guy, South Park, Boondocks, and Rick and Morty, they're clearly adult shows. The Boondocks by far is probably the most political and funniest and it it's done by a whole team of people that look a lot different than me but i love the show it was great and it's been banned a lot just saying as a parent i watch shows with my children in order to know what they were consuming many adults excuse me, many Americans blame corporations for content, which they have more power than ever to block their children from viewing. Americans used to believe in free choice and responsibility. Many of the same people that complain about anime or animation have no problem with Bugs Bunny, which contains sexual innuendos and violence that was intended for children. Many sides in American Yeah, many sides in American I would say politics or culture turn to government to enforce their views on each other. A 
like the originally how I wrote the sentence, many sides in America. No, it should be. Yeah. Should be many sides in America turn to government to enforce their views on each other. It could be like American politics or American culture, but I made a typo and that's why it should read America. So many sides in America turn to government to enforce their views on each other. As a result, American content has suffered. Special effects have greatly reduced in cost, allowing for more sophisticated looking videos. You know what, that, is, that sounds funny. Like then when you're going back, this is editing. You're actually seeing me live editing, reading this out loud and disagreeing. Special effects have greatly decreased in cost, allowing for more sophisticated looking videos. That actually sounds better than what I had before. Special effects have greatly decreased in cost, allowing for more sophisticated looking videos. Yet American storytelling has become stale. I turned to Japanese anime as a result. I used to mainly watch science fiction, fantasy, and action series, but I prefer slice of life and comedy the most now. Laid Back Camp, also known as Euro Camp, is one of my favorite animes to watch. I enjoy how wholesome and simple the anime is. Encouragement of Climb is a similar anime, excuse me, is a similar anime, but I preferred Euro Camp, or I prefer Euro Camp still. Shakura, Sakura, Sakura Quest was the first anime to introduce me into the slice of life category. Roots Basket was an incredible train wreck that had a solid ending. Re-Life was one of the first series I watched that aired the entire story. And it's also like a slice of life love story. It was. Blue Spring Ride was a great romance anime that did not air until the story's conclusion. It stopped. So it kind of left you wondering what happened after the fact. Another great romance that I enjoyed was Hori Maya. And that actually had a a solid ending and it had a you know it completed itself march comes in like a lion and she have and chiha yafuru introduced me into aspects of japanese culture that i previously did not know much about both anime follow similar follow similar patterns to sports anime due to the competitive aspect of their interest. Both anime follow similar patterns to sports anime due to the competitive aspect of their interest. And what I've been doing today and should hopefully be like really obvious to everybody is since I've been editing, sometimes if you don't read things out loud, especially when they're lengthy sentences, you don't see the mistakes. So there's grammar check or grammarly all sorts of things you could use but one of the best ways to catch your own mistakes is reading sentences out loud like i'm doing both anime follow similar patterns to sports anime due to the competitive aspect of their interest marsh comes in like a lion focuses on shoji japanese chess with a more serious tone than chia yafuru Chi, <laughs> Chiha Yafuru tells the story of a young female Karuta player that has an almost obsession and joy for the game. Chika from Kaguya Sama, Love is War, is one of my favorite characters uh, of all time. And that means like in and out of anime. In competitive Karuta, Ah, see, I got it out of order. Sorry for that. I was going back to the other one. Chika is in a different anime, but back to the Chi Chiha Yafu. It's about Karuta. In competitive Karuta, players race to grab poetry cards before their opponent, oftentimes grabbing a card within the first syllable being called out. 
it is ridiculous how everyone falls in love with the main character in my next life as a villainess without her ever noticing. But the ridiculous antics also make the show endearing. There's even an anime about bookmaking called Ascendance of a Bookworm. Which Ascendance of a Bookworm should have been underlined and I totally botched that. My bad. Vinland Saga is a seinen anime, meaning an anime made for an adult male audience. Most of the popular shonen anime or anime developed for a male teen audience have too many episodes and recycle too much footage to hold my attention. If you like them, more power to you. I'm glad that you were able to have like that much free time and everything else. It's just since I am I'm writing novels. I'm writing poetry, I'm making videos, I have a full-time job, I'm a grandfather, I'm a parent. Like the really long ones where they like recycle a lot of footage, it's just really hard for me to just sacrifice that much time for a show. Like like the, the condensed and abridged versions are awesome that way sometimes. Because you can kind of get the gist. Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer both seem promising and have yet to overly recycle footage. Thank God. Currently, I watch My Hero Academia, which this season has really started to do the whole recycling footage thing. Hopefully that pattern will not continue. The last couple episodes before this recent one, they, they kind of did. Did a lot of flashbacks. It reminds me of classic American superhero cartoons. Spider-Man the Animated Series is still one of the best takes on the classic character. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse felt similar to the original series, which is why it was amazing and way better than they normally are. Batman the Animated Series remains my favorite portrayal of Batman, above all the movies, period, hands down, because it tells a much longer in-depth story. Superman the Animated Series and both Justice League series revolve Oh, wait, the series aired. Oh, excuse me. It's my bad. Wow. Superman, the animated series and both Justice League series aired around the same time and tied into and tied into Batman, the animated series. Thank you for visiting. Um, yeah, the 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 90s and 80s when I grew up, like we didn't have the special effects and I'm just not be like in my day. Literally, like, they had, like, the handicap of the special effects really made them tell the story. And there was so much money in toys that, like, the, the children's cartoons were way better. I didn't even mention G.I. Joe, Transformers, all sorts of stuff. Like, if you look up 80s and 90s cartoons, it was smack. And not only that, but, like, they had girls' cartoons because, like, the Care Bears were banging. They had Gem. They had all sorts of stuff. Barbie and the Rockers, I think. I can't even remember, but anyway, there was like, there was better quality entertainment back then. Because before the internet, without everybody just screaming and screeching at each other, they had a little bit more creative freedom, it felt like. Anyway, thank you for visiting. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Feel free to ask any questions or suggest future topics in the comments. If you like Christian poetry, check out my other channel, Narrowgate vs. Scandalgate, on YouTube and many other streaming platforms. You can find my Christian poetry or fantasy books at Amazon.com under LDDJ. My website is otaku, otakos for otakus.com. Have an incredible day. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. 